Alright, hi everyone, welcome to episode 22 of Competitive Lands. I'm joined today with my good friend Neo Shinji on Magic Online. How, hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time. So today we are going to test 8cast versus Lands. And you're a very good Lands player who recently picked up this deck, uh, right? So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of our our fellow Lance players actually picked up this deck uh, way before I did, and uh, and he actually was he made some very convincing arguments as far as why this deck is going to be very good, you know, uh, in the future. So I I kind of saw the writing on the wall as well. Yeah. But uh, at once uh, Kappa Cannoneer got spoiled, and I had lost to it, <laughs> like pretty convincingly. The first time I was like, okay, all in, and that was before I realized how much they were on Magic Online. But uh, yeah, so but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so already now with that high price, it's like I think it's something like eight percent of the winners meta is eight cost, and now this two weeks they're gonna be like all all access tokens, right? So they're gonna explode in popularity, I think. So when oh you yeah, that's a now, very good point. Yeah, they are everywhere. Uh, so uh, yes. and uh, so and the showcase challenge is next week weekend. It got moved one week ahead, so it's going to be during this uh, all access. So I'm I'm expecting this to be pretty popular if people can get the reps in. I guess that's the question because I don't think it's an easy deck to play. Or what do you think? Uh, well, per I think it's actually pretty easy. Like okay. like once again, it, it's it's. You and I are, are both lands players. We're both specialist yeah. lands. And so we're already kind of used to how Urza Saga works to begin with. Yeah. You know, because the sequencing is always very tricky as far as when to play it, when not to play it. Mm. And, you know, and that's a majority of, I don't know, it, it, the deck doesn't feel too overly complicated for me. It's like, I picked it up um, during maternal weekend when we had the God accounts at that point. Yeah. And I didn't drop a, a match at all. Like, not a match, I didn't drop a game. And I was like, this doesn't feel right. And this was before Kappa Cannoneer was yeah. released, you know? And I was like, and, you know, I was almost to the point where I was convinced that I shouldn't be playing lands, that maybe I should be playing this new 8-cast Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, no, that's silly. You know, I, I you know, lands is my favorite deck. It's the, what, you know, it's what I'm going to play for Eternal Weekend. So, but it was a very, it was, it was a pretty close choice though you know so i kind of just put eight cast on the back burner and i was like you know what i'm gonna wait to see how this deck develops because i don't really want to spend the money in online as well as paper because i you know i have two separate collections to maintain yeah. um it's like i'm gonna see how this deck develops and if i feel like it has you know a good delver matchup and a good combo matchup which i i believe it does um then I'll see if I can pick it up somewhere down the road, you know, after I'm done, you know, playing lands, if I want to take a break or whatever. So, but yeah, it took one game against Kappa Cannoneer to realize like, uh, yeah, the time is now. Yeah. Let's pick up all the cards. I, yeah. I literally just sold off my, my EDH collection, my yeah. commander, all my commander cards and cash in all my chess, chess uh, that I've been saving up from like when I was grinding leagues. To actually pay for four kappas, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was obscene. So. But it's also it feels like this deck keeps on getting more cards to it as well, right? Like thought, yeah. like they keep on printing good blue artifacts spells. Uh, yeah. So uh, th it will be here to stay. I think I don't see really how it must be very very good against combo, right? Because you have chalice and you have forces. You have eight forces. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, yeah, eight forces, eight forces and, and a fluster and chalice. Look, it has a very good well. combo matchup. Yeah. So. And, then, and you think it's good against Delver as well? Because I guess that would be the. Uh, I, well, I wouldn't know, but. It's kind of like you know it, we all know if Delver gets to play how Delver typically plays, it's still very hard to beat their game plan. You know, there's still you know you, you still have to, as long as you play around days, you can usually. You know, have an, a good time first. Thing. Like it's, it's never like, it never quite feels like a like a very easy matchup. Mm. 
Mm. But if but like I'd rather be on this deck or lands. If I if I if I expected like a like for me like the way I've been approaching the last you know seven to eight months is that I want my deck configuration for lands to be good against combo and Delver. Mm. And I feel like eight cast is pretty much doing the exact same where I want to be also. You know, it's, it's good against Delver and it's good against combo. Mm. Um, the the only hard matchups I feel like it has is uh, Elves. Elves is a mir- miserable matchup. They just... Okay. Just, it's yeah, it's very difficult to do them. Them. Yeah, okay, I see that. Yeah. And it's... I guess and like maybe, the, the only good like, I'm sorry, go on. Maybe Kappa Cannoneer did something there because they can't jump block that one at least. So maybe you can raise them, but may, probably yeah. That's I mean, I mean, it's that, that's, that's yeah. It, in the, the fact that the uh, Alasor Shepherd yeah. deals with Chalice of the Void and mm-hmm. your counters, and yeah. so they can actually pretty much just outvalue you pretty fast. Yeah. So it, it, I still am managing to beat elves, but those are very close matches, and it's usually because my opponent mold. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> you yeah. know, and uh, yeah, in those cases, yeah. So so yeah. Um, because, the other so, matchup that's oh, come uh, on. sorry. Yeah. So be, uh, f- so for for uh, for lands versus eight cast. So before Kappa Cannoneer was printed, I felt it was kind of favored for lands actually. So. Because of Shadow Spear, so once I started playing Shadow Spear, uh, I felt that I kind of I could ignore what my opponent was doing most of the time, right? Because they could draw some cards, but it didn't really matter. They had, they had very few answers to Merit Lage then, because that was before Ottavar as well. So they had like one spell bomb as the answer, uh, and even if they had a really wide board. I could just attack with a trampling lifelink and I would win. Uh, yep, but, but uh, that, I agree. Uh, I don't know. I I don't know if that changed with because of Kappa Cannoneer. Probably not. But if you look at this uh, list that Jordan, this is Jordan's list. He has won three challenges in a row, which is sick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he yeah, has a beast. <laughs> he has a lot of answers to Merit Lage. He has like three in the main deck and two more in the sideboard, I think. And also Pithing Needle for uh, the yep. stage. Yep. Uh, as well as uh, a Crucible. Yeah. So I, I think this will be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. I, I still think my strategy will be like playing against Elves. Meaning that I want very light disruption. And uh, I want like one removal spell for the first thing, and then a merit ledge on turn two or turn three. Uh, it's going to be much harder to achieve, though, because of all the counter spells and also because of all the bounds. I still think that has to be my. It's not much harder. It's not much harder, though. I, I still think, like, I mean, I've played this against lands, and I've also played lands against Kappa Cannon here. Yeah. And if if they get an early Kappa Cannoneer, like turn two, yeah, you know, turn three, then you're on a very, very definitive clock. Yeah. And even if you happen to tabernacle them, like they can still just pay for their Kappa Cannoneer. Yeah. And just keep on swinging in. And there's not much you can do besides pay for and and maze them. Yeah. <laughs> which which uh-huh. you're already, you know, yeah, that doesn't feel great. But, you know, Lands has a lot of, like, spells that, you know... Like, there's a lot of cards that are actually not really good against Lands to begin with, though. Like, you know, like, Chalice of the Void has... In my opinion, has never been really that great against Lands mm. in the first place. Um, let's see here. Uh, Retrofitter Foundry can be kind of problematic, but... Yeah. Since our main, our main threat flies... You know, like it's not really that great against us. It's it's annoying for our construct tokens, hmm. but a lot of the times we're not really winning via uh, saga uh, construct tokens. Anyway, no, I was thinking maybe it's side out saga actually, two of them at least. But yeah. I'm not. Uh, I just wanted to find shadow spear. Yeah, like shadow spear is pretty much. Yeah, shadow spear is pretty much. Uh, the, what actually breaks that that thing open and plus it you know it gives you more space to survive a, a Kappa Cannoneer strike. 
Yeah. All right, and then Sai is a beast, of course. Uh... Sai is very good. Yeah, but at least that is more. It's still. I mean, the fact that you can go wide. At least. Uh, yeah. At least, uh, what you call it, Tabernacle can help keep that in check. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. So, I, I still don't. I still think it's a favorable matchup for Lance, but it comes down to like. If Lance has to, yeah, normally Lance can mulligan aggressively, hmm. but I think if you mulligan aggressively against this deck, it, I don't know. But that's where, that's where it gets kind of iffy, I think, you know, because then like, you know, we, we bring in our uh, more like forced negations and stuff like that. Hmm. And then it gets a little bit more difficult, like close sideboard, but, you know, your game plan still really doesn't change all that much. Um, how, how do you feel about Force of Vigor in this matchup? Well, it's worse. It sometimes it's good, but you should. I I bring it in because of Ursa Saga, right? If you can get like yeah. Ursa Saga and a construct, or Ursa Saga and a Mox, uh, it can mm -hmm. be really good. Or even if you can get the artifact land uh, and a Saga, so, like it's it's like a, a land destruction spell, I think. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's not the best. But you need it like. Jordan told me he, he cites out Chalice of the Void, which I think is is wrong, but but because uh, uh, I think that card is is pretty good, even on one it's a pain, um, and on two it's kind of a lockdown. Uh, but on two it's really good. On yeah. one it's I mean, how many times have we been able to beat a Chalice deck on one? Like I've beaten countless. Yeah, on, you know, well, if it's on if it's on the play though because if, yeah. if our plan is a quick merit ledge that can re really that can, that can really hinder stuff up, yeah. all right but maybe we should uh you know get some games in so maybe we should play the pre-board games and then we talk about sideboarding yeah that sounds so good we, yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and challenge you i'm gonna i'm playing my endurance main list let me okay. uh, I don't have a Tower of the Magistrate I need to worry about, do you? Uh, I don't. I don't have that, no. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to stop sharing as well. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I I, uh, I thought about actually testing that. Primarily for Death and Taxes. I'm, I'm skeptical that it will be that good in this matchup. It seems a bit slow. Uh, it would be better, of course. I also thought about a uh, glacial cast. The problem with glacial. I actually think that's a. I think that's a legit. I think that's actually pretty good. So. Yeah, but the problem is I still need to win. And that's really oh. hard right now because I. I in, uh, in the past, like we had access to Valakut. But... Yeah, exactly. Uh... All right. What are we gonna do? I am going to keep. So, so does eight cast mulligan a lot or? Um, I mulligan aggressively. Yeah. But uh, I tend to do that with. Every deck I play, anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! If you could see my hand, <laughs> you would laugh. Hey, you'll be fine. <laughs> Whatever. Said, I mean, like said, I said, oh, this I is just going to be two lands. That, that two yeah. Yeah. This is just essentially two lands players trying to figure out yeah, how to uh, beat be this good. deck. Yeah, maybe it could be good actually. Oops. At least you're not casting. Um, 
What do you feel about Jose do in this matchup? I feel like it's kind of too slow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, funny thing about us playing and still talking to each other while we're playing is that you can hear each other groan when we apparently do not draw what we want to draw. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's no pithing needle in the main, but anyway. Yeah, I know, it makes sense, because I, I mean, that's what you would do. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just have to hope you don't have a bounce spell or draw one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Pretty sure I'm dead on board now. Uh, nine. I think this, if I had been on the play, this could have been a bit better. I had like exploration and crop rotation. Uh, that makes sense. In my hand, yeah. Alright, no sideboarding. Okay. So we do... Uh... Alright, Yeah, it's going to be interesting. See ya. I'm not sure if that's correct, but I figured we have to keep on bouncing. Uh... I'm sorry, what? Yeah, if you don't have anything else to do, you might as well do that, right? You might as well just do it. So both Octavar, so you have all your answers to Merit Lake are in the group. No, they're not. These are not, these are islands. Infinity is such a powerful mechanic, like... <laughs> well, I guess that answers that problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. What can we do here? Oh, not what I want. <laughs> yeah, you want. Oh, what can we do? What can we do? Do this. All the power in the world. Not enough. Need, need more power. Sometimes I wish there were more 
uh, red or green spells that would stop your opponent from drawing cards. Because mm. that would actually be uh, quite a good card in this matchup. Something like... Uh, Uh, something like um, the two mana creature the death and taxes can play. Okay, I can turtle. Wow. Yeah, it's like some of these hands are like are almost like playing vintage. I feel. Oh, I forgot to. Yeah, it's. Okay, that was. Alright, now we got ourselves a game. Definitely. I, I feel like I have to do it now. Um, why though? Uh, to uh, make so that you can't attack. I don't know if it's gonna be. Oh, I uh, see. I see what you're saying. Because otherwise, you can attack with everything and get two more damage in. Hmm. I got you. I got you. Makes sense. But it's not. I mean, because I'm gonna lose to Ottawar anyway. It's not. So I wonder if that thing becomes a 2020. It's so sick that it can't be blocked. I don't understand what, yeah. <laughs> why. It's pretty. Had, it's had pretty dis Yeah, it's pretty disgusting. So every artifact you play makes two counters, right? Yep. Alright. So, let's see this part. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, oh, I'm so stupid. I could have bounced. Uh, I am really bad. I could have bounced Sai many times. I am really bad at magic sometimes. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think of that. Uh, but that's okay. Yep, let's do that. It's like I need a um, pithing needle and a quick merit ledge. <laughs> Alright, so can you concede so we get the third game? Yeah, yeah, I'll concede. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting to wonder if this strategy of a quick merit ledge is even uh, what I should. Well, I mentioned. Like, it's kind of. It's. Kind of a, I think wait until we do game uh, cyborg is what I would probably suggest. Yeah, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, who goes first? Uh, that's
That's the matter. You can go first. Um, how about no? Because like, if it, we already know how Chalice games resolve. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. a bit more interesting. It's a bit more interesting if it's actually uh, you know, not that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's dumb for us to do like a me going in on, on the play. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm not saying that like Chalice on one is like you know the end all be all kind of thing because it's not. I played Wasteland here because even though, yeah, exactly. I wanted, yeah. I had to do that and kill and ki and play Caracas next turn for your Emery. But I guess that didn't happen. But and I should have Wastelanded in response to the trigger, of course. Yeah. That would probably have been better. Uh. Yeah, I should have played Wasteland last turn. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I agree with that. Because I think if you were to, I think you're still fine. But now you actually have to make a conscious decision as far as where you want your mana to go now. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I think. I think this one has to die. Then I have to live with the yep. tokens. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Maybe I should have tapped that island. I don't know. Um, I think that, yeah. That could have ended up costing me. No, I, I, I think you did. I think you did fine. I think you did fine. Yeah. We are just going to oh, okay, try right. to get some stuff in the board. Yeah. All right. Here comes to hot step. Right just now. give me... Uh, I got you on uh, two points of damage per turn. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, but you, you're in a weird spot, though. Because, like, you have no acceleration really going. Yeah, but that is... Unless you fine. just naturally... Yeah. Yeah, draw a mox. So I think here... I would like to... Kill that thing. I'm not making great plays, I'm just making the plays that I can at this point. So I am, let me think here. Yeah, I, I just want to find dark depths, right? This seems like that would yep. be the... And I guess one way to do it is to... My Ursa Saga, but I think... Here might just be better too. Yeah, yeah it is getting rough. Thinking, oh, nice. I'm thinking how I can lose. Yeah, like right now, like I, just, I think, like if we were playing in a tournament, I'm essentially just getting information mode. That this is game one. Yeah. Because I don't see a way where I could actually come back and win from this. Unless you think I, can, I don't think I can come back. Maybe Capricornia, but I mean. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be pretty slim. Yeah, I think so as well. I think okay, so the So the man of denial is real, right? If we can uh, it's like playing against them. If we have a, a good hand maybe this wasn't the best but if you have a slower hand we can sometimes keep you from casting spells. And at this point, a Kappa wouldn't be the end of the world, right? If I can just find Maze. Yeah, because you have you have a bunch of resources right now. You're up in mana, so. Yeah. But I'm really bad at finding. 
<laughs> your actual uh, wing condition. Oh, well, that's that's a legit one. Cause now, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, now, now, yeah, it's not now coming it's, down it's, now, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not coming down now. So unless I manage to draw like you know a zero casting cost artifact, 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 and even then, like it's, it's this is pretty much over. <laughs> Yeah, you need... well... Yeah! It can happen, I guess. Technically. Oh baby, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we continue. Pretty sure there is dark depths in my deck. Let me. Say you, I guess that's fine. Uh, I guess we can, we can find the dark depth this way. But I think Chalice on one is pretty good. Um, if if it comes down turn one, yeah, it's not. It's not. Yeah, if it comes down turn one. But yeah, no, I, I I think I agree on that. But like, there's sometimes where like a lot of my answers for the um for your age also cost one. You know, like yeah, yes. Oh, you're giving me a land. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Oh, of course, they have two <laughs> islands, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why didn't you, uh... Why didn't you kill the, uh... Chalice. The Chalice. Because no, you targeted the, uh... Yeah, but now you do... You, if I kill the Chalice, you get three mana, right? Now you only have two, which you had already. Yeah, I mean... Okay. I mean, I mean, you actually, of course yeah, I, you actually have. No, uh, no, I drew a crop rotation, of course, but but I didn't have any one drops. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are the best players. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah, I will remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. So what do we got? Uh, it seems miserable. Do it. Oh yeah, you're gonna get. I think you're gonna kill me with her. Like you don't even need to even expose yourself to the. Uh... Yeah, you don't even need to expose to like getting. Uh, no. Your lady bounced or whatever, because you just have construct tokens. Yeah. I don't think blowing up my blast zone on zero is makes sense here either. You're more than welcome to go for it. <laughs> that was the map. Okay, so I can't find. That's fine. Uh oh. 
That's not good. Yeah, one, two, three, four. I can even kill Kappa Cannon here with Besage, you know, right? What's that? I can I can kill uh, Kappa Cannon with Besage. I feel like you can. Yeah. I, I, you should have enough mana. Yeah. Oh, what, what, one sec, uh, turn of heal. That's not what I wanted to do. There was the dark tips. Okay. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I got it, yeah, I got it. Uh, so. I wonder if it's gonna matter. I don't think it's going to. I mean, I think either way you have enough damage. Yeah. Yeah, it might have been better to actually just uh, wasteland here. Yeah, I don't think you even needed to do the leash because you already have enough of like, aggression. Alright, what can I make? Mm. Nope, not even that. <laughs> Alright, good games. <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's, uh, Alright, guys, you just concede, and we'll go to the.